Ever think about how much you discard or where it goes after you throw it away? This little slice of beach in Costa Rica is an illustration of what can be found around the globe. Welcome to Away, the place where your old shoes, Legos, toothbrushes, and of course drink bottles could very well end up. This video is a snapshot of what I found and learned in Refugio Romelia and how I conducted research on these very plastics. I started on June 22nd, collecting seven bags from a single designated area about 40 meters long, because otherwise I would have been way too overwhelmed. The next day, I organized it all to be logged and counted. That day was the bigger, unsightly stuff. As time went on, I began to notice and collect smaller and smaller pieces, all from the same 40 meter area. When I arrived at Refugio Romelia, I walked down the beach on my very first day and took in the sight of a debris-strewn, plastic-ridden beach, the likes of which I'd only heard of. By the second collection day, I had already racked up almost 5,000 pieces. I thought that my plastics project would take up a small portion of my time. Little did I know I had basically come to an open sandy landfill. The other Romelia staff was already jaded by the problem. They had limited resources and personnel to deal with it. So here I was, pre-turtle season, ready to dedicate hours to this huge task. I had arrived with a sense of excitement about conserving sea turtles. But when I got to that beach, I was slammed with such a strong sense of personal responsibility, the kind that only comes from seeing a tragedy in person. That first day, tears came to my eyes, and I let them fall. A tear for the beaches that are important for animals, but not tourists, so their cleanliness is neglected. A tear for the turtles that have to navigate the garbage just to try and lay eggs. A tear for the lifetime that I spent not knowing where away was when I threw away my Dr. Pepper bottles and old Legos. The few volunteers that we had were always willing to help with my project, and as we sorted, I described the problems that trash causes for marine animals. Straws in noses, bits in stomachs, halting digestion, not providing any nutrients, causing intestinal blockages, reproductive failure, and of course, death. The problems span from seabirds to deep sea fish and everything in between, including us. As I mentioned before, all these pieces are from the same small stretch of beach, 40 meters out of about 1300. Throughout the collection days, you can see that the numbers don't drastically change, but the size of the hull does. Almost three quarters of what I collected were mini fragments of plastic, smaller than three centimeters. What you see me sorting here is even smaller, less than five millimeters. 100 pieces easily fit in one hand. Despite our best intentions to properly dispose of our trash, all these things are still ending up in the ocean 